Something that I've been wanting to do for a really long time is to purchase clothes that are better for my body. And just in case you are wanting to go on a similar journey and replace some of the things in your wardrobe with healthier items, then at least hopefully I can inspire you along the way. The reason that this has been such a long time coming is because I don't buy clothes very often at all. Like, I just don't. I've not bought clothes in a really long time. I don't want to be wasteful, but it's come to the point now where I've had a lot of these clothes for years and years and years, and it's time to replace them. So we're going to replace them with some good stuff. There are some providers out there that allow you to filter on the material that the clothing is made of. And that is what I did. Without that, I probably wouldn't have been able to shop here. But what I did, I've got you know many packages from the Iconic and it's one from another store as well, which we're going to blend in just because it all fits together. So I've got quite a pile of clothes to go through. I'm going to try them on as we go. Now keep in mind what I was trying to achieve when I was looking for these items was that they had to be, at least for now, 100% compliant with what I wanted. So they needed to be made of a natural fiber. So think cotton, linen, cashmere, wool, leather, all of that sort of thing with absolutely no polyester, viscose, elastine, spandex, any of that stuff whatsoever. Because that's the whole reason I want to replace my wardrobe because the majority of it is quite literally plastic. I wear plastic like 90% of the time and it's bad. We did get four pairs of pants. So this one is by Air. So it's 100% linen. They're a little bit tailored. It has a little bit of structure to it. These hit at an okay length, actually. You know, there's not an uncomfortable amount of room at the back here. It fits nicely. I prefer higher waisted items. And you can see that there is some pleating here. So that's what's giving it a little bit more shape and structure. It does also have pockets just on the left and right. We have some fake pockets at the back with this one. It also has some belt loops as well. If this one here is from Oxford. It's a cashmere blend. I got it in size 10. I would say it is a little bit sheer. I would say that the trimming I thought was black, but I think it's actually navy. I can just really, really see the difference between the trimming on the shirt and the black of the pants. The color bothers me a lot. So these are the jeans that I got. They're a dark wash, so I think it will go really well with this top, even though that wasn't the initial plan. These are from Witchery. They're the dark indigo high-rise wide leg jeans. Oh yeah, 100% cotton. One thing I noticed, and I've never owned a pair of jeans like this before, but they actually have a button fly. So I'm not sure how I feel about it, but I think it's hidden anyway. So I don't even think I'm gonna notice, hopefully. The length, so I'm on my tippy toes right now. Like these are, long. What I'm not liking is that there's some bunching here at the pocket and there's a little bit of bunching here as well. Also just there's a lot happening here. I'm going to try on another pair of pants. Now it's exactly the same as the black pair except a different color. I was really really drawn to them. Let me preface this by saying that the lightest colored pants that I've ever worn in my life are like a semi light ish washed denim shorts. So, this for me is very, very different. Again, the length is actually pretty good, but I knew that because 
Again, it's just the same, same pant, different colour. It fits really well, as to be expected. I really like it. I mean, pretend it's not creased, but we got to move our way through some of these tops some more because the pile is like this big. This is another one from Oxford, so same brand as this one here. It also comes in white as well. I, contempl I had both in my cart, but I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to love it. I'm obsessed with this. What I like about it is obviously the materials and things like that, but I also just really like the cut. Like it doesn't, you know, hug in my arms. It's still warm. I just got more packages. I thought I had everything from my iconic haul when I'm as I'm creating this, but apparently not because I have another. So We'll open this together and see what it is because I don't remember. 100% cotton, warm, it's a great in-between weather type top. I'll post a picture of the white one as well so you can see some of the details. This one, 100% yes. We got a few different shirts made of a couple of different types of natural fibres. It's Pure Linen, size 10, David Lawrence. Let's see what she looks like tucked in and let's just pretend that these two colors look okay together just for a minute. I don't know. I'm not a hundred, I like it. I just have to convince myself that it's something that I would wear. Tell me. Along the same theme, I suppose, we got another shirt. This one is from Daisy. It can, it feels different. This, the pure linen feels a bit more crispy. The cotton and linen blend feels a little bit more forgiving. This one feels a bit, yeah, just softer. Will I wear a shirt? They are comfy because it's not a sustainable wardrobe if you're not going to wear your clothes. Do I love it? I don't know. I got a belt. My old belt was looking very, very sad. Sansia the Vibes belt. Black leather belt with some really nice golden hardware. This one's black. It's a bit boxier. So yeah, the tucking is not perfect. I really like this actually. So it's got, it's got the low neckline. This, this is my third and final item from Oxford. Sandy boat neck knit top in black. So, um, but I really like this. It's shows a little bit of shoulder. Um, it is, again, it cinches in a little bit here. It does have, um, it's like looser fitting here, which I really like, but then it's got the ribbed knit material, which kind of hugs a little bit closer down the arms from, what's that, above my elbow. I definitely wear it to work. I don't know if you're seeing the same vibe as me, but the black pants and the three black tops that I've got, I love, and I find them a lot easier to wear than quite literally anything else that I've tried on today. We're going to open this because I don't remember what it is. Hoping to love these. I don't think they were billabong though. I'm upset because it's 55% linen and 45% viscose. I'm checking online. 
definitely checking online because I checked the labels on everything so many times. I mean, we'll try them on. Ugh. Very upset, but it's more because of the materials. I am going to, going to return these. These are the last of the pants. These are the more casual type ones. They are black linen pants. They're the, the waistband ones, the drawstrings. And this one is made by Sea Folly. Pretty sure these ones were 100% linen. And if I'm wrong, I'm gonna be so mad. Oh, it's in two languages, 100% linen. I have high hopes for these because I want to live in them basically every day. These I love. I really love. And this is just a kind of a wear around the house or take the boys swimming or something like that sort of situation top. Basic, really. All right, another jumper situation because the one that I have is very, very faded. So this one is by Daisy. It's a beautiful darkish red type color. Um, the neck is quite stiff, but I think after a wash or two, it will be fine. Yeah, just a nice casual situation. These three here I did not buy from Iconic. I got from Fun Funkida. I'm going to fly through these three pretty quick. They do have graphics on them. They're just 100% cotton, just very, very basic. So I'll try each one on, but, but super quick. Again, all of these are size 10. This is just a basic tank. I'd probably wear this with a sports bra or something underneath. Easy. This one here is a bit more fitted, which around here, I don't mind too much, but I'm not a huge fan of the arm situation. It doesn't hug the, the arms as much as that second one, but it's also not down to here like the first one. It says Funkita, it's just a bit of fun. It has some flowers on there and a little Kit Kat as well. Like I said, it's not a sustainable wardrobe if you're not wearing the pieces that are in it. I don't want any of the pieces that I choose to keep to just sit alone in my wardrobe for years just because I think that they were a nice piece to incorporate in my wardrobe but not actually wear on my body. So. I've got some thinking to do. I would love, 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 love your thoughts and considerations as to what you think suits me or if I do return some of these items and try something a little bit different, let me know your thoughts about the sorts of things that I should try that you think would suit me. So thanks for being here. This was a little bit different for me, but hopefully you enjoyed it and got something out of it too. I'll see you next time.